Uh, good morning. We had uh, a good meeting with uh, the president. Uh, first of all, we had uh, to thank the president, the Congress and the American people for the support they have given to our struggle for six years. And uh, we have attained the goals we wanted to attain, which was peace, stability, and the movement or the process towards democracy. All those are in place now. So we have thanked him for that. And again, we ask the president that uh, the United States should maintain their firm commitment to follow the process through so that uh, the problems we may encounter from here to September 1992 should not derail the process. I think those are the items that we have discussed with the president. Portanto, discutimos com o presidente primeiro para agradecer a assistência que a administração, o Congresso e o povo americano deram à UNITA. Os objetivos foram atingidos a paz, a estabilidade e o movimento para a democracia. E também pedimos ao presidente que a América devia continuar a seguir firmemente o processo de paz e democratização no nosso país. Você tem alguma preocupação que esse processo vai ter dificuldades para ir para frente? Naturalmente, é a primeira vez que os angolanos estão em paz por um longo, longo tempo. It is also the first time that the Angolans are going to have elections, so we, we may have some problems. One thing uh, which is sure is that uh, there will be no return to war at all. The people, they don't want war. The government does not want war. We don't want war. I think that's some assurance we can give you. But you're satisfied with the good faith of, the, uh, of Mr. Dos Santos? Uh, I think that we have to work together in order that where we find a problem, it has to be discussed. Mr. Savimbi, are all the troops, Cuban troops, have they all withdrawn from uh, Angola at this point? Uh, I think combatant troops have left, but we have some 5,000 to 7,000 Cubans remaining there. As you know, the system in Cuba, what they call the militias, uh, it is everybody trained. Then, though they are doing civilian work, they have a military background, Then we wish very much to see them off. Um, there was a rumor saying that a lot of them did not want to leave the country and that they may be allowed to stay as citizens. Does that worry you or would you accept that? Uh, we don't know yet, but we understand that those who are remaining there, they fear the transition in their own country. So they don't know if the transition in Cuba to democracy, if it will be smooth or violent. It is why I think they don't want to go to Cuba now. In an interview this morning, published this morning, you expressed concern that the elections could be pushed until 93. Do you we, have such a concern? We have discussed that with the president, because when the president Luis Santos came here, he gave his firm commitment that he will work with us and other parties to have elections in September 1992. And he's not uh, following his commitment? He's not following on on that commitment? In the discussion, he gave us to understand that if the problems are major, he may change. Then we don't want him to uh, continue to think on those terms. Did you, did you ask the president for any specific help that may boost the electoral process and prevent delays? We did not. What we asked the president is that the United States should be interested, maintain the interest in following the process. What? going on with the countries of troops in the assembly areas? Uh, so it is advancing. Right? It is advancing now uh, very well. But when are you going to finish? Uh, we are going to finish this month. This month? Not to us. We have finished in September, the first week. But the government has to finish this month. Late this month, mid? Uh, I think it depends much because now they had 27 locations where they supposed to assemble their troops. But they have assembled only at 18 places then we hope they will finish even up at the end of this month. Dr. Savimbi, what kind of work are these, are these soldiers involved in? I mean, what are they doing right now? Which ones? The Cuban soldiers. The still... Cubans, they are doing civilian works, construction, uh, roads, and uh, some radars repair. Uh, but even though, uh, it worries us, their presence. Dr. Savimbi, two weeks ago you denounced the number of problems in the peace process. Are they resolved now? Yes, yes. yeah. I think that our uh, statement has helped 
to streamline the position of the government because now I think we have a, a permanent delegation from the government in the GPMC which is responsible to implement the decisions taken in that forum. Is it well between you and the President Santos now? Yes, yes, it is. Correram muitas algumas impressões muito boas, muito boas. Encontramos uh, um amigo, portanto é pela quinta vez que eu ganho a Casa Branca, portanto não tivemos nenhum problema. Ela está interessado no processo e ela espera que todo o processo corra da melhor maneira. Diga-me, entretanto, a situação em Angola é preocupante, mas de qualquer forma acha que o avanço será, uh, in... quer dizer, não pode ser detido, é imparável, não é verdade? É, o processo é irreversível, é verdade que pode haver problemas aqui e lá, mas definitivamente que o processo de paz, estabilidade e democratização são processos que fazem da situação completamente irreversível. Essa situação vai ser também foco nos seus outros encontros que vai ter aqui em Washington, não é verdade? Não posso ser. Não só para a rádio hoje, desculpe, Rene. O que o Presidente Bush te disse e como estão as eleições? Eu estou preocupado com a próxima conferência. Eu estou preocupado com a próxima conferência. Ah, eu acho que o que nós informamos do Presidente is that we feel that the process is going well with some few problems, but uh, it's not problems which may derail the process. Uh, and the president was happy to get us. What are the major problems? What will the president do to help you? Uh, what we want to, it is just to reinforce the commitment of the United States in following the process so that the government can comply with the commitments he, the president Santos has taken here when he was here. And is he complying? Uh, I think the president said that the United States is interested in that process until elections. Mm -hmm. And what assistance do you need from the United States on this trip? Uh, I think that that's all. We went, we came here to thank the government and to ask them to continue, nothing else. How are you thank you very much. The government of South Africa. Sir? I have no relations with South Africa, and it is important to say that it is the government of MPLA which has better relations with South Africa, which is working against them because for years. They have been castigating us because of that. Now the people, they see that of a sudden, relations between South Africa and Luanda have improved. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.